are just weeks away from when school districts will head back to class, whether that's virtual or in person. Tonight, Harris County's top elected official says that schools should not reopen to in-person learning, at least not to start. Channel 2 education reporter Keith Garvin live at West Briar Middle School in the Energy Corridor with the newest back-to-school developments. Keith? Dominic Harris County Judge Lena Hildago and the county's public health director are calling on superintendents to delay the start of in-person instruction for at least eight weeks. In a letter, the judge also requests school districts within the county cancel all extracurricular activities until in-person classes begin. Other districts across the area trying to pin down their plans as well. Our Bill Barajas joins us live from Friendswood in Galveston County, where Friendswood ISD held a meeting in person tonight with parents there. Bill. Well, tonight's in-person meeting was really just a chance for parents and school board members to hear that reopening plan, a reopening plan that was approved by unanimous decision. All those in favor? Opposed? Pass the 7 to 0. Thank you for all. Everyone in attendance was socially distanced, wearing masks, and eager to hear how the district would handle reopening. The plan laid out in two parts, face-to-face -face and virtual learning. Those who prefer virtual classes will have to commit to them for at least nine weeks, have access to technology and Internet, and will have to adhere to attendance requirements. Parents and students interested in face-to-face -face learning will be required to socially distance, wear masks, and complete a daily electronic self-screening that includes temperature checks submitted to the district each morning before the student boards a school bus or gets to school. Schools will also be responsible for assigning dismissal areas for different groups of students to promote social distancing. I am leaning towards virtual. I have, I'm lucky that I'm able to provide that for him. I'm worried about him being in the class and having to wear a mask all day. I trust the district and the plan that they've made and I think that they've done everything they can and I think it's my kids need to go back. And as you can see, that school board meeting still going on right now. The reopening plan is available for all to see on the district's website. We were also told that a letter will go out to parents tomorrow so that they can choose whether to enroll their students in virtual learning. Again, that letter goes out to parents tomorrow afternoon. Live in Friendswood, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News.